Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When I'm busy making recordings for an audio show or a video show or a radio show of which I'm applying for, I need portfolio. And if I make a misstep, it doesn't matter because when you're on the radio, you're going to make those mistakes. And our partners and our partnerships of people that are on the show with us sort of make up for our missteps or they give us that loving harassment for the mistakes. But it doesn't really matter. What matters is that I have a right to my own company and in the life of my entire work as an entrepreneur since age 15. And when I established my company in 2003, only three times have I invited someone to work for me. The first two times failed miserably. I invited two women who were looking for extra work and pay to do some things for me. They didn't do very well at all. One failed me completely and she was a Marvel student at one time. The other was also a student that I invited to work for me for doing a simple project and she did okay. I ended up being a participant in her wedding, so I guess we're okay. She married some guy she met online. Good for her. But the person that I want to work with me the most is someone that I've asked now three or four times to do that work. The first time I asked her, she didn't understand why. And I think she didn't think she could. And I thought she was so marvelous in the real estate mortgage business that she didn't need to. But here's the reality. When you have someone who's a good salesperson, and then you have someone like me who talks well with executives, it's a great partnership. When I've invited someone to become my marketing director, maybe that's not the right title for her. I could offer her president, I could offer her vice president, I could offer her vice chairman, but she can't be founder, because that's me.